Welcome to Colombia! In this episode we will show you around La Candelaria, starting with La Concordia Marketplace. So we are now in the marketplace, uh, it's a temporary one actually. We lost Frank because he loves coffee so he went for coffee. Um, in this place you can find every single fruit you want uh, that is from Colombia. Uh, this is a temporary one because the, the other one had a, a fire so they are um, fixing everything and reopening this year actually. So in here for example you will find the fruits, down there the vegetables, over there the coffee, over there there is a restaurant. I love that restaurant and the, and the lady that attends that. So maybe we can uh, get to talk with her a little bit. She's actually making the best food in the whole marketplace here. Everybody from my office, we always come here and enjoy lunch. And it's seven or eight thousand pesos. Super cheap and the soup, main dish, the juice, it's just awesome. This what I hold in my hand is a guanabana and it's very delicious, makes very good juices. It looks a bit weird though and it's good. So here you find all kind of fruits and it's just awesome place. Here we have plantain. The one is green, the other is yellow, it's the same. Uh, this is a young one, this is an older one, and the difference is with this one you cook patacon, which is a specialty. You, uh, you uh, cut it, then you make it flat, and then you fry it. And this actually you can uh, boil and eat like this, and it's sweet, it's really good. Something very special, uh, something very usual in Colombia. And this is something I don't remember the name. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Cubios. The taste is a bit a anise like uh, quite special and they're expensive I think it's difficult to cultivate them I try them they're not my favorites but it's also something I seen in no other country than Colombia this guy he sells flowers and flowers actually are one of the biggest export goods in Colombia. Mostly go to Amsterdam where they treat them and then they sell them all over Europe. So lots of flowers all over the world come from Colombia. The soil is so good. Everything grows in Colombia. Unbelievable. I would say this is one of the most important places in La Candelaria. Um, it's very close to the office that I, uh, I'm glad uh, that it's uh, like that. Uh, I enjoy a lot this place. This is like a cultural center. A lot of universities are around, a lot of offices, a lot of people all the time. So coming here is uh, having artistical shows, for example, that guy that is uh, playing guitar in the back, uh, stand-up comedy, uh, a lot going on all the time. Uh, also, this is supposed to be the place where Bogota was founded, although that's not true. Uh, a lot of people would say that because it's like a legend, uh, but it's not true. Historically, it's uh, not proving that this is the exact place. It's actually a quite new place, um, and it's, uh, I mean, it's used for gathering and uh, for enjoying a, an afternoon here in Bogota. It's quite cool place. So what about the church we see in the back? Yeah, that church is like a reproduction of the original church, uh, of the, the first church that was uh, built in Bogota. Uh, when the Spaniards arrived, that was in 1538. So it's supposed to be that one, that's why some people say it is, but it's not. I mean, it's a reproduction uh, from the 20th century, actually. So 
So another of the places I wanted to show you was uh, this sculpture in the back, the pink one. Uh, it has like a representation of the 12 houses uh, that were uh, built in the beginning of the history of Bogota. So it was one church and 12 houses that are represented in that. And also in Ola Candelaria you will see those kind of statues uh, that are up there. So this is a proposal of an artist uh, to show like uh, all these uh, works that are not recognized uh, in a regular way. I don't know, um, uh, people that work on the roofs or shoemakers or jugglers like this guy. So it's like, a, like a, to try to recognize recognize these people that is also part of our society yeah uh, and also in the back over there you can see a lot of graffitis that's the Calle del Embudo we just uh, came in coming there walking that side uh, and this has a lot of graffiti art and it's also something very important in the city but this is coming in another chapter of this Bogota series So we are on the way to the Plaza de Bolívar, the Bolívar Square, the most important in Bogotá and the biggest. And we found this church. This church is very important as well because uh, it's the church that gave the name to the, the, the whole neighborhood. There is the Calle of La Candelaria, uh, so it's the street that was named after this church and the whole neighborhood was called after this church. And surrounding it, it's like a cultural center. We have behind uh, three museums, the Art Museum, the Botero Museum and also the Coin Museum. So this is one of the hearts of La Candelaria. A lot of people is coming here because they visit a lot the, the Botero Museum. It's one of the most important artists we have now in Colombia. So you have to come and visit this. So Sebas, where are you now? What's to see here? So we are about to arrive to the Plaza de Bolívar and uh, you will find this in the whole um, the travel guides. Yeah, this is the oldest restaurant we have in Bogota. It's called La Puerta Falsa. It's from 1816. Uh, and uh, it's very known for a uh, dish Frank loves, that is chocolate and cheese. Tell us your opinion of chocolate and cheese. <laughs> yeah, Frank doesn't like it. Uh, he's a strange guy. Uh, chocolate and cheese is very nice. He's one of the most traditional um, beverages uh, and dishes we have in Bogota. You will have more information about this in our chapters of uh, the food and gastronomy here in Bogota. Try it and make up your own opinion about it. You'll, it's amazing. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> and Puerta Falsa. Yeah. What that, what's that in English? In English would be fake door. Uh, and this name comes uh, because this is the cathedral. So behind the camera you will see a cathedral. Uh, and in this cathedral there is a very small door. This door uh, was uh, used to come out of the services because the services during the colony and republican time uh, used to um, be like five hours, six hours and in Latin. So it was very difficult to maintain your concentration over there. So they decided to uh, create this door so the people can come here, uh, have like a break, uh, come and have a suite in here and then come go back to the church. So this is like the origin of the name. And right now we have the fake door uh, from 1816. Well, this guy that is behind us, that's Simon Bolivar. Simon Bolivar was like the main general and afterwards president of the great Colombia. That was a big country uh, that reunited Ecuador, Venezuela, Panama and Colombia. So it was a huge country. Well, the thing is that every single uh, building in this square has a history. We have the mall, the city hall over there. We have the Congress in the back. We have this side that is uh, the Catholic part of the, of the square. And in the back we have the Ministry of Justice as close as you are to the square, as important you are. And in the back of this uh, Congress, we have the presidential house. So you can imagine how important this, this place of the city is, actually. So I just, uh, I can't stop inviting you to come here and you will have more time to enjoy many of the histories we have uh, from these and many places here in Bogota.
So we just arrived to another spot I wanted to show Frank. Well, actually Frank lives around here, but maybe he doesn't know all these, these stories. Uh, so yeah, we have a couple of spots. The one I showed you before and this one that, that are my favorites, yeah? This one because we are in front of the oldest church we have in Bogota. One of the oldest that is steady standing. The building is from 1567. Yeah, it's a very old building. It's actually, I would say, the oldest building we have in Bogota right now. Uh, and from here we can also see a couple of very, very beautiful um, buildings that were built with the money of the coffee, actually. Yeah, in the beginning of the 20th century and the end of the 19th century, we had like a an explosion on the coffee and we exported a lot of coffee yeah and this brought a lot of money to the city uh, and these are like witnesses that this happened this and also the construction of the trolley system yeah we had a trolley system here in Bogota that lasted until 1940 like 1951 uh, just after the Bogota so a riot that we lived in here I mean there are too many stories uh, to tell uh, and uh, so l few time yeah so uh, I don't know we, we have to spend more time together and ask as many questions as you can uh, please come and visit us and uh, learn a lot about the passionate story of Bogota this is square is called the Santander square Santander is that guy over there he's uh, like the second most important character in the independence of against Spain yeah in the back of this statue we will find the gold museum and also we have what was the skyscraper of Bogota the uh, Avianca building Right now we're standing in the front of the Café Pasaje. This is one of the most emblematic cafés in the center of Bogota. But first, please subscribe our channel, click the bell, write comments, like us, and tell everybody that we have this wonderful channel to promote Colombia, because we want to show you that Colombia is not just for backpackers. No, it's a travel destination of quality. Also, if you need better hotels and everything, it's here. Colombia is amazing. There's a huge potential. You can travel in all kinds of different uh, climate zones. It's, there's so much and we will show you. If you want to travel, Taylor May Travels, you can do that with me. And Sebastian, of course. And let's go on. Café Pasaje from the 40s. What about this coffee? Oh, the coffee is amazing. I mean, the coffee of Colombia is uh, one of the most famous coffees in the world, right? Uh, it's soft, it's uh, kind of sweet, you don't need sugar for this coffee. So the idea is to enjoy your coffee and say goodbye to you. So guys, thank you very much for watching us and please subscribe. Okay, so see you then. Bye. -bye. Bye.